Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Nation celebrates 72nd Independence Day today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unfurls the tricolor at the ramparts of historic Red Fort. Mr. Modi announces Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Abhiyan to provide affordable health care to the poor, emphasizes on ensuring social justice to all. Prime Minister reiterates Centre's commitment to the development of Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Modi declares that women employed in armed forces through short service commission will be given equal chance as men. Prime Minister says long pending demand of higher MSP for farmers fulfilled. Reports of Independence Day celebrations coming from all over the country and abroad. And torrential rain continues to disrupt normal life in Kerala. Kochi Airport closed till Saturday. Heavy rain predicted in Odisha. The nation is celebrating its 72nd Independence Day today. The main function was held in New Delhi, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi unfurled the tricolor and addressed the nation from the ramparts of the historic Red Fort. The Prime Minister today announced the launch of the world's largest government-funded program, the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Abhiyan. भारत सरकार ने प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य अभियान प्रारंभ करने का तय किया है ये प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य अभियान के तहत आयुष्मान भारत योजना के तहत 10 करोड़ परिवारों को यानी करीब करीब 50 करोड़ नागरिक हर परिवार को 5 लाख रुपया सालाना ये हेल्थ एश्योरेंस देने की योजना है 25 सितंबर पंडित दीनदयाल उपाध्याय की जन्म जयंती पर पूरे देश में ये प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य अभियान लॉन्च कर दिया जाएगा द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड इंडिया इज प्राउड ऑफ इट्स साइंटिस्ट हु आर एक्सेलिंग इन देयर रिसर्च एंड आर एट द फोर फ्रंट ऑफ इनोवेशन अमेड अप्लॉज फ्रॉम पीपल प्रेजेंट एट द रेड फोर्ट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड इंडिया विल सेंड अ मैंड मिशन गगन यान एंड बिकम द फोर्थ कंट्री टू सेंड अ ह्यूमन बींग इन टू स्पेस मिस्टर मोदी सेड एन इंडियन एस्ट्रोनॉट बी इट सन और डॉटर विल गो इन टू स्पेस इन गगन यान बाय द ईयर अब हम मानव सहित गगनयान लेकर के चलेंगे और ये गगनयान जब अंतरिक्ष में जाएगा हिंदुस्तानी लेकर के जाएगा हिंदुस्तान के वैज्ञानिकों के द्वारा हुआ हिंदुस्तान के पुरुषार्थ के द्वारा हुआ होगा तब विश्व के अंदर हम चौथे देश बन जाएंगे जो मानव को अंतरिक्ष में पहुंचाने वाले बन जाएंगे Mr Modi also announced that women officers commissioned in short service commission in the armed forces will get the opportunity for permanent commission like their male counterparts मैं आज इस मंच से मेरी कुछ बहादुर बेटियों को एक खुशखबरी देना चाहता हूं भारतीय सशस्त्र सेना में शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन के माध्यम से नियुक्त महिला अधिकारियों को पुरुष समकक्ष अधिकारियों की तरह पारदर्शी चयन प्रक्रिया द्वारा स्थायी कमीशन का मैं आज घोषणा करता हूं On women's safety Mr Modi said there is a need to free society and the country from the disgusting mentality of rape the prime minister also called for giving wide publicity to the cases in which rapists were awarded the death sentence saying it would instill fear in people with demonic mindset on triple talaq Mr Modi said the government is trying to end the practice but there are some people who do not want it to end he said the practice of triple talaq has caused great injustice to muslim women and the government will ensure that justice is done prime minister modi said there is a need to ensure social justice for all and create an india that is progressing rapidly mr modi said the recently concluded parliament session was devoted to social justice संसद के ये सत्र पूरी तरह सामाजिक न्याय को समर्पित है हमारी संसद ने संवेदनशीलता और सजागता के साथ सामाजिक न्याय को और अधिक बलवत्तर बनाया ओबीसी आयोग को सालों से संवैधानिक स्थान के लिए मांग उठ रही थी इस बार संसद ने पिछड़े अति पिछड़ों को उस आयोग संवैधानिक दर्जा दे करके उनकी हकों की रक्षा करने का प्रयास किया Mr Modi said many parts of the nation witnessed a good monsoon but at the same time parts of India have been affected by floods 
He said his thoughts are with the families of those who lost their lives due to floods in various parts of India. The Prime Minister said the demand for higher MSP was pending for years. He said his government took the decision on increasing MSP. इस देश के अर्थशास्त्री मांग कर रहे थे किसान संगठन मांग कर रहे थे किसान मांग कर रहा था राजनीतिक दल मांग कर रहे थे कि किसानों को लागत का डेढ़ गुना एमएसपी मिलना चाहिए सालों से चर्चा चल रही थी फाइलें चलती थी अटकती थी लटकती थी लेकिन हमने फैसला लिया हिम्मत के साथ फैसला लिया कि मेरे देश के किसानों को लागत का डेढ़ गुना एमएसपी दिया जाएगा The Prime Minister said India will be the engine of growth for the world economy for the next three decades as the sleeping elephant has started to run on the back of structural reforms like GST. Mr. Modi said AFSPA has been completely withdrawn from Tripura, Meghalaya and many parts of Arunachal Pradesh and the states are seeing historic peace. Mr. Modi said there was a time when Delhi was supposed to be too far for the Northeast but today the government has brought Delhi to the doorsteps of the Northeast. Turning to Jammu and Kashmir, Mr. Modi said former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee had shown the path of Insaniyat, Kashmiriyat and Jammuriyat. Vajpayee ji ne kaha tha, Insaniyat, Jammuriyat aur Kashmiriyat. In teen murli mudda ko le kar ke, hum Kashmir ke vikaat ke liye, chahe Ladakh ho, chahe Jammu ho, ya Srinagar Beli ho, Sankulit vikaat ho, Samaan vikaat ho, waha ke Samaan ne maan bhi ki. कांक्षाओं को पूर्ण हो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को बल मिले और साथ साथ जन जन को गले लगा करके चले इसी भाव के साथ हम आगे बढ़ना चाहते हम गोली और गाली के रास्ते पर नहीं गले लगा करके मेरे कश्मीर के देशभक्ति से जीने वाले लोगों के साथ आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं The Prime Minister also said preparations for the long-standing panchayat and local body elections are underway to further strengthen democracy in the state. Our correspondent reports that the unfurling of the tricolor was synchronized with the 21-gun salute. 700 cadets of the National Cadet Corps drawn from 16 schools of the Delhi Directorate comprising the Army, Navy and Air Force wings participated in the flag hoisting ceremony this year. The cadets took part in the singing of patriotic songs and the national anthem along with the school children. On this occasion, the school children displayed the formation of Bharat. After concluding his speech, Mr. Modi met with the children present at the Red Fort premises. The ceremony was concluded with the release of tricolor balloons. With Naseem Nakvi, Anupam Mish, AI News, Delhi. On the occasion of the 72nd Independence Day, President Ramnath Kovins today paid tribute to the martyrs at Amar Jawan Jyoti at India Gate in New Delhi. Army Chief General Bipin Rawat, Navy Chief Admiral Sunil Lamba and Air Force Chief Air Chief Marshal Birendra Singh Dhanoa were present on the occasion. Reports of celebrations of Independence Day are pouring in from all over the country and abroad. Independence Day is being celebrated with patriotic fervor and gaiety in Jammu and Kashmir, Haryana, Punjab, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Goa, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Mizoram and Port Blair. In Uttar Pradesh, on Independence Day, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath appealed to people of the state to join the Prime Minister's New India Mission. Our correspondent has filed this report. After unfurling the national flag at Vidhan Bhavan in state capital Lucknow, the address people and said that India is one of the oldest nations in the world with a rich heritage and culture. State government has also ordered the release of 72 prisoners from different jails to mark the country's 72nd Independence Day. Whole state machinery along with general public is taking part in historical plantation drive in different parts of the state in which the target is to plant over 9 crore saplings Sushil Chandra Tiwari, EIR News, In Himachal Pradesh, the state-level function was held at Indora in Kangra district, where Chief Minister Jairam Thakur unfurled the national flag. A report. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur paid tribute to the freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives for the freedom of the country. Jairam Thakur said, despite being the small state, Himachal has emerged as a leading state in the terms of development, and the credit goes to the hardworking people of the state. The Chief Minister asserted that the eight-month tenure of the state government is full of achievements. On this occasion, Chief Minister also paid tribute to 16 people of the state who died due to heavy rain. Sanjeev Sundariyal, AIR News, Shimla. In Assam, a local club in Goreshwar today took out a rally with a 3.5 km long national flag to celebrate the Independence Day. State Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonawal unfurled the tricolor at Kanapara in Guwahati. More from our correspondent. 
Safe Minister Sarvanand Sonwal, in his Independence Day speech, said the state government is committed to ensure that no genuine citizens would be left out from the NRC. He further said government is also to keep an eye so that no illegal citizens would be included in the NRC list. Meanwhile, various programs are being organized across the state to mark the Independence Day. Socio-cultural organization Grisham to stage Kushal Kaur drama this evening in Guwahati. Manas Patim Sarma, AR News, Guwahati. In Odisha, all the ministers of the state hoisted the national flag in different districts on the occasion of Independence Day. A special film festival on the theme Freedom Struggle and Freedom Fighters began today in Mumbai. Nearly 5 lakh people joined hands to form a 700-kilometer-long human chain along the India-Pakistan border in Rajasthan to honor martyrs and boost the morale of soldiers on the eve of Independence Day. Indians in Nepal, Maldives, Sri Lanka, China, Australia, Singapore and many other countries marked the Independence Day with hoisting of the national flag and singing of patriotic songs. In Dubai, amidst chanting of Vande Mataram and Bharat Mata Ki Jai, the acting Consul General of India, Mrs. Sumati Vasudev, led the Indian expats in celebrating the 72nd Independence Day by unfurling the national flag at the consulate. A report. Patriotism was in the air today in UAE. Hundreds of Indian expats from different walks of life gathered in the back lawns of the Indian consulate to celebrate the 72nd anniversary of India's independence. Tricolor was also unfurled in the other emirates of the UAE. In Abu Dhabi, Ambassador Navadeep Suri unfurled the tricolor. Similar celebrations were held in Qatar and Saudi Arabia. In Doha, it was Ambassador P. Kumaran who hoisted the national flag, while in Riyadh, Ambassador Ahmed Javed unfurled the tricolor. Kanchan Prasad, AIR News, Dubai. In his message on behalf of the U.S. government on the occasion of India's 72nd Independence Day, U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo said India is taking its rightful place as a leading global power and continuing America's shared efforts to sustain the rules-based order. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. For the third successive day, heavy rains lashed Kerala, triggering fresh landslides and adding to the woes of a state battling the worst flooding in 94 years. Operations in Kochi Airport have been suspended till Saturday, since the inflow of water is still on a rising trend. A Kochi Airport spokesperson said, flights are being diverted to other airports as the state has been battered by torrential rains. Here is a report. Landslide hit several places in Malabar, including Vayanad, Kannur, Koyikod, and Malapuram districts. Six people were killed today in rain fury, taking the toll death to 44 since 8th of this month. 33 dams out of 39 dams have been opened. Red alert have been issued in 12 districts and orange alert in Tiruvannathapuram and Kollam. With the report of Shamila from Tiruvannathapuram, G. Subramaniam for AAR News. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan called a high-level meeting to assess the rain situation. The Met Department has predicted heavy rain in 11 coastal and interior districts of Odisha during the next 24 hours. Special Secretary of Home Department has asked all collectors to restrict the ceremonial parade of Independence Day within police and paramilitary contingents only. Instructions have been given not to include children in official ceremonial parade and to ensure safety of guests. Local body and panchayat polls in Jammu and Kashmir have been scheduled in September this year. This was stated by State Governor N. N. Vohra during his Independence Day speech at sher kashmir Cricket Stadium in Srinagar. The last panchayat polls in Jammu and Kashmir were held in 2011. Aam Admi Party leader Ashutosh today resigned from the party citing personal reasons. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Nation celebrates 72nd Independence Day today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unfurls the tricolor at the ramparts of historic Red Fort. Mr. Modi announces Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Abhiyan to provide affordable health care to the poor, emphasizes on ensuring social justice to all. Prime Minister reiterates Centre's commitment to the development of Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Modi declares that women employed in armed forces through short service commission will be given equal chance as men. Prime Minister says long-pending demand of higher MSP for farmers fulfilled. Reports of Independence Day celebrations coming from all over the country and abroad. And torrential rain continues to disrupt normal life in Kerala, Kochi Airport, 
closed till Saturday, heavy rain predicted in Odisha. And with that, we end the midday news.